Yeah, so by 2008, John and I had, because we always worked together, it was not in competition, it was always collaborative, because it's just, you know, because he said, we need more dances in Ottawa, as he said, and I said, well, John, <laughs> over to you, so he did. But by then, we were having dances every three weeks and trying to figure out ways where we could get more people coming. And um, and then Roger Williams uh, proposed that we just merge the two, um, which we did. And uh, Emily Addison was very important at that time and all through the next decade in helping us uh, rebrand. We found a new home for our dances. I asked James to go to the Churchill Recreation Center and see if it was okay to have a dance there. And he told me, he said to me, why aren't we having all our dances here? So taking that as the, the sound person that he is, that's what we did. And we moved there. And uh, Greg Brown, we have had the great luck that Greg Brown has been our sound man all this time because as a musician as well he's just so fantastic so we combined the two series and roger and emily came in and helped us revitalize and julie made us some beautiful quilts and emily scattered the room with lights and we just have a marvelous dance community here and yes we revived hay fever in 2013 Roger kept asking us, could we not have a dance weekend again? And we were all saying, no, well, it's so much work and you can lose money. So then he asked us, he said he had a special meeting. And he told us he had booked the band, booked the hall, booked Greg. Were we in or were we out? <laughs> we're like, oh, okay then. That sounds fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we started the dance weekend again, which has been so wonderful because... We've had people come from all across Canada and the U.S. to, and you know, expanded our friendship that way. So, uh, and I mentioned Greg, and so then over to Ian just to talk about the last thing is how we just started up the concerts again in 2013. I think was it Ian? 